Let's continue our conversation about the product CBD. CBD advocates Tracy Ryan and Dr. Bonnie Goldstein join us now alongside Daniel Fabricant, the former FDA supplement director and president of the Natural Products Association. Because in the previous segment, we talked about the need for more research. Daniel, I want to bring you into the conversation because there have been a lot of claims made without the science to back it up. So the FDA has jumped in and said, wait a minute, you can't say things like this will cure cancer or uh, these other claims where there's no, no great science on it. So where do you stand on this? Well, you can't make claims on anything calling itself a dietary supplement to cure, treat, or mitigate a disease. Dietary supplements don't treat, mitigate, cure disease, especially things, cancer, Alzheimer's, what have you. So um, that's first and foremost. You do have, um, if you're looking to treat diseases, there's a process for that. And there are companies actually going through that process with uh, CBDs right now. Given that there's a place for CBD oil, but I guess you have to be careful as a consumer because not all CBD products, oils, are being sold, uh, put together in the same fashion with same concentrations. That's right, that's exactly right. That's why it has to be studied. And you heard that in the last part of the segment is you've got to get the dosage for, for women, men, children. Who is it for? What's it for? And, and making sure that's studied appropriately so there's a balance between risk and benefit. So I want to ask Dr. Goldstein, you are someone who is treating patients using cannabinoid oils. When you source these, how, are, how, how do you go about doing that in a way where even though in some ways you still don't have the perfect protocols, how do you at least know the product is, is safe and what parents and you are, are paying for? What I tell people is don't get anything if you don't know what it is. Good, responsible companies that provide excellent oil, the oils that my patients are getting better on, have test results on their websites. They have test results available. If I were to call a company and say, you know, a patient got oil from you, can you send me the test results? If I don't have that in my inbox, in my email, it's a deal breaker. So is that the biggest red flag, if the company's not willing to give you the test results? That's exactly right. Everything should be tested, it should be transparent, and they should be excited to share that with you to show you exactly that their oils are exactly what they say it is. And if I could just add in, what I've seen, I know it's science, I know these compounds and the way they work in the brain, because that science has actually been established. Mm -hmm. But the reality is, is that it can be, it can look like a miracle when you've been struggling with a child who's been sick for years and years and years. It looks like a miracle when your child is finally well. And I want to address parents right now because Tracy, I'm sure that, that you and Ryan are here representing a lot of parents out there whose kids have struggled. The reason that this is such a hot button issue is because when you hear kids and cannabis, it's a scary association. Just to clarify for everyone watching, CBD is very different than THC, which is the component of marijuana that people consider to give them the high. We are believers that in certain individuals, even without great science, this has really changed the lives of countless children. But I'm assuming that you, you two also have observed the hurdles out there because it's a hot button issue. Again, you're hearing, basically you're hearing weed and kids. Right. Is that proving to be a hurdle for you all in, in your desire to advance this treatment? It hasn't for us personally, and I'll tell you why. Because if you actually look at why cannabis is illegal in the first place, you'll find that it's all based on stigma and power and money. It had nothing to do with it being dangerous. In 3,000 years of using this medicine, no one has ever died from cannabis overdose. The effect of true cannabis on the brain of a developing child, there's some concerning studies out there with that. There's also so, one so you gotta be a little careful there. Of course. You wanna jump? Yeah, Pe people it, it, overdose yeah. on water. People can right. overdose on anything. It's right. the dose that makes something helpful or harmful. So the notion that it's because it's natural, it's perfectly safe.